Let us discuss about 8D approach. Before that, let us look at steps in 8D. 8D Problem solving methodology involves 8 steps in solving the problems. Preparing for 8D is taken as one more step, which is called step 0 or D0. Prepare for 8D process. Every problem may not need a very detailed 8D, but it requires a systematic approach. On the basis of symptom, decide whether 8D is needed. Customer is not really bothered whether we are doing detailed 8D or not. He just wants an immediate solution in case of a breakdown. If he gets his response, he is quite happy. Emergency response action should be taken up to protect the customer. Example of emergency response action. In case a compressor breakdown, the standby compressor is provided immediately within an hour. Next step is D1. Initiate the team. Most of the problems in a company need the participation of members from all functions. A team leader is needed for problem solving team. Team champion is needed. He may not be part of a team. He will participate in meetings occasionally. Each member of the team should contribute. Next step is D2. Describe the problem. Describe internal and external problem. Sometimes the internal problem may not have anything to do with the external problem. Now we look at D3. Initiate interim containment actions. Before we look for permanent solution, we have to put interim containment action in place so that the loss will stop immediately. Example of interim containment action. If there is a fire, you first put out the fire before investigating the reason for the fire. Once we put the ICA in place, one needs to validate whether it is working and whether the problem has stopped. This will ensure that the loss is stopped. Next 8D step is D4. Define and verify root cause and escape point. This is one of the most important stages in the 8D. One needs to prepare a fishbone diagram to list the possible causes. This is done as a team and everyone depends on their experience to identify the possible causes. After this, checklists are prepared to collect data on each of these possible causes. On the basis of the data, the possible causes are either eliminated or accepted as probable causes. Care should be taken to take decision only on the basis of data. Next step we look at D5. Choose and verify permanent corrective actions. Permanent corrective action to eliminate root cause is initiated. Corrective action to close the escape point also is initiated. While solving one problem, care is taken to avoid creating another problem. Once the data collection is properly done, and root causes are identified properly, the solution identification is relatively simpler. If the data collection is not okay, then actions identified will not yield any result. Next important step is D6. Implement and validate the permanent corrective actions. After permanent corrective actions are identified, they have to be implemented. Once the PCA is implemented, then we do not need corrective action. This has to be removed. Once the permanent corrective action is implemented, the results have to be validated. Next step is D7. Prevent recurrence. This is another step that is very important. 
Many problems, in a company, keep coming back, as they are not able to prevent recurrence. The solution, has to be standardized properly. Modify, quality plan, PFMEA and, other systems is required. Normally, the solution implemented, is checked periodically, using checklists. The senior people in the company, participate in checking, whether the solutions implemented, are, working or not. Let we look at, the last step, DA. Recognize the team. Teams, need to be encouraged, when they solve, an important problem. Recognize team, and individual efforts. Capture learnings. Celebrate success. Now you know, what are the steps in 8D.